Hello, this is Chef John from FoodWishes.com with Sea Bass a la Michelle. That's right, this is named after my wife Michelle because this is her favorite way to enjoy roasted fish. Which of course, since we're married, means it's my favorite way of roasting fish. But you know what? Even if I was not legally bound to enjoy this recipe, I still would because it's so fast, so easy, and incredibly delicious. So let me show you how we put this together. And we're gonna start by making what's basically a Spanish influenced vinaigrette. So we'll go ahead and we'll add some nice Spanish olive oil to a mixing bowl, to which we're gonna add about an equal amount of sherry vinegar. And no, I'm definitely not measuring. So yes, every time I make this, there's a slight variation with how it comes out, which is a good thing. I will never understand people's obsession with having recipes come out exactly the same every time. I mean, it's unnatural. But anyway, we're gonna start with some oil and vinegar, and then we're gonna add maybe the most important ingredient, some smoked paprika. And besides providing that amazing flavor and beautiful color, that little bit of smokiness in the background is gonna remind us of something that might come off a grill. So we'll do some smoked paprika, and then of course we're gonna need some salt in this, and believe it or not, that's it. So let's take a whisk and mix this up. And for lack of a better description, this recipe is basically a piece of fish roasted on top of sort of a potato salad. So after this is mixed up, what we'll do is we'll introduce the ingredients that will form that base for our fish to roast upon. And that's gonna start with a handful of chopped green onions, as well as some sliced Fresno chili, also known as red jalapeno, and then lastly, some cooked and quartered new potatoes. And by the way, it's absolutely critical that those potatoes are already cooked because our fish is only gonna roast about 15 minutes and there's no way those potatoes are gonna cook in that short a time. So all I did was pop four or five of those little potatoes in the microwave for about three minutes, and when they cooled down, I cut them up, and that was it. You could also boil them in a little bit of salted water until they were tender. But anyway, we're gonna mix that up at which point we will introduce the last ingredient and star of the show, a couple pieces of sea bass. So I have two large, beautifully thick, boneless and skinless fillets. And by the way, if you didn't think we were allowed to eat sea bass, you'll have to check out the blog post. It's actually okay to eat it once in a while now, allegedly. And what we're gonna do is take those pieces of fish and coat it thoroughly with that vinaigrette. And I should mention, we only wanna do this right before we're ready to roast. All right, we're not trying to make ceviche here. So it's basically just a brief slathering and once that's happened and our fish is nicely coated, we're ready to transfer this into our baking dish or dishes. So you can do this in one large pan or dish, but I do prefer the individual presentation. And we'll do a little bit of olive oil on the bottom before dividing up our potato pepper mixture, at which point we can throw down our sea bass. Well, actually don't throw it down. Nestle would be a much more accurate term. So we will place down our fish on top and then a couple final touches before this goes in the oven. We will do a little more kosher salt as well as another shake of, no, not cayenne, a little more smoked paprika. Could you do cayenne? Of course. You are the boss of your bass, so you season that how you want. And then last but not least, one little extra drizzle of olive oil, at which point these are ready to roast. So let's transfer those onto a sheet pan so that they're a little easier to get in and out of the oven, at which point we will place those in the center of a 450 degree oven for 15 minutes or until they look like this and the fish is just cooked through. And if you're using sea bass, it's generally very easy to tell because as you can see, those fillets are gonna kind of split open, which makes it very easy to take a fork and kind of poke around to see what you got. And what we're looking for is something that's very moist, yet will flake apart easily with a fork, which as you'll see when I start eating was the case with mine. And at that point, we can transfer that onto some kind of napkin lined plate, possibly with a wedge of lemon, and maybe even a pinch of freshly chopped oregano or tilling parsley. And that sea bass a la Michelle is officially done. And I'm not exactly sure scientifically what happens with that fish being roasted after being coated in that vinaigrette, but it produces one of the most flavorful, most tender, most moist, most succulent pieces of fish you will ever have in your life. And above and beyond that beautiful texture, we're happy to report it also tastes amazing. As you fans of Spanish food already know, sherry vinegar and paprika have a natural affinity for each other, and they are absolutely perfect together in this. And since we use that smoked paprika, which I coined many years ago as the bacon of spices, we have that little hint of smoky grill that really puts us over the top. And not only do you end up with a thoroughly enjoyable piece of fish, you also get what's basically a warm potato salad underneath. So we really do love how this comes out. And as you may have heard me say before, there's two ways you can do things when you're married. The way your wife wants it and the wrong way. And this is definitely not the wrong way. So I really do hope you give this a try. Head over to foodwishes.com for all the ingredient amounts and more info as usual. And as always, Enjoy!